No, I'm there. That was nice! <laughs> Soft lips! Definitely. That was nothing to be nervous for anyway. My guess! <laughs> That's my most viewed clip. There we go. That's it. Clip it and send it to. That was lit! <laughs> What is this? Oh, why did I click that? Oh my god. I am so sad right now. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, fifty dollar advice. Hey Greek. Fucking Greek. Dude, I'm I'm happy. I can say with confidence. I am actually day-to-day -day happy even when I'm doing nothing and alone. I'm happy. I've never felt this way in my life. Okay? I've never felt day-to-day -day happy when I'm doing nothing and alone. So, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to last forever. But right now, I am. So, happy. I want to keep it going. Just keep try to keep going, you know. I'm not going to do Xanax. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do Xanax. I probably said no maybe 30 or 40 times. That's probably not an exaggeration in this room. Um, eventually, I come out. Melina is like out of the room because she's not being included like at all. And I go to sit on the couch and she's like, well, what are we doing? And it's like, I have no idea. And then eventually, both of them come out. And Nina sits on my lap. Um, Bridget is behind her, like hugging her, and she has like a zanny, and she's like, oh, like just take this. Now, one of the things that Nina said last night was, I'm 80 pounds. I can't shove a drink in your mouth. Like, what does that mean? You're 80 pounds. First of all, she's not 80 pounds. I don't know why she's that. Um, but like, what does that mean? Like, you're 80 pounds, so I could beat the shit out of you. Like, is that, is that, was that, is that what I'm supposed to do? Like, am I, do you want me to fight you? Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter that you're small. Like, what, like, what does that mean? I'm supposed to pick you up and put you into the room? Like, what, I don't understand why you would cite the weight there. I'll just say like, oh, like I'm only 80 pounds. Like, what can I do? Well, you could sit there and like offer me Xanax over and over and over and over and over again while I'm saying like, um, Po man love from India, ambidextrous for 30 bucks. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, Magic with 2260. All oh, you guys are great. Wish I could do that. more. Tar. Huckleberry with 15. Anon with $10. Save Australia. Vic Star with 10 grand. Yay! We love you, Vic. We love you. That's on the rise of incels on Twitch. Um. I think that we call them incels, but what we really mean to call them are like sexists and misogynists. Um, and I think that it's really uh, disheartening. I think that there is a very large creator on the platform that um, advocates for and condones and lets misogyny and sexism slide. Um, I think that it is extremely disheartening to see a person with that, those really like, <laughs> like strong sexist opinions, um, being followed by so many people. Um, I, th I think that it's really, yeah, yeah, I think that that's really sad. And I think that it's an, it's an issue. It's problematic that this is encouraged and that people it's like all right here we go why does pokimane have the ninth most points on my channel she hasn't been in here in like six months why you want to know why because her fans, her diehard fans, will gamble points in here, okay? They will gamble for points in here. When the stream is not on, in the offline chat, and then take all of their points and give it to their queen. Like, it's like the ant mentality. Like, I kind of admire it. They're, like, working diligently here. And like gifting their queen the top points. And I don't know. I, I really, I think it's a beautiful thing. Yes, bananas. No. Let's see? <sighs> bananas. Bananas are good. No fucking way.
How do you guys coordinate together to do it, dude? It's crazy how you do it so fast. How can you do it? Exactly? It's, it's happening all at once, though. How do you know what's going to happen? It happened all at once. It was just a few seconds. It's crazy, man. Okay, okay. I'm going to do one more. I was, I'm testing. Okay, chat, close your eyes, okay? This is this is only for mommy to watch. You guys are too young, okay? Close your eyes. <gasps> that was nice! <laughs> Soft lips. Definitely. That was nothing to be nervous for anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's my most viewed clip. There we go, that's it. Okay, <clears throat> you guys can open your eyes now. <laughs> sorry, I forgot to close your eyes. I forgot to close your eyes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So there's a. I mean, I've seen people play it. It seems pretty straightforward, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Right? You're literally taking me, you're, you're I'm getting carried. <laughs> Addison, it so you, so it I'm, doesn't, it doesn't seem very hard. Yeah, it seems like you've played this game before, Addison. No, no, this is, bullshit, this you've is never first, played this. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. This is my first time, I swear. Oh, so. yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh my God, this is Jody. This is really. I I don't know what the the big deal is. It seems. No, I'm not waking up, Peter. How is? She's laughing. Oh, you can actually draw better than me for sure. Yeah. Yeah, show them a nice drawing. Not the fucking Pepe. They already saw it. Look at that, dude. He drew that. That's crazy. Wait, something happened. Ah, uh, later on my Twitter. I, I, I the fog is really nice and the trees are really nice. Yeah, I already showed. Pistilli. The, um, what? The Aussie that's at the top. Of Escape from Tarkov. Oh, the Tarkov guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, drops aren't enabled in here, mate. <laughs> Jeez. What a legend. No, we got no, we got no Tarkov drops here. I'm sorry to disappoint, guys, but uh, stick around. Maybe you'll see something interesting. Who knows? So it's almost like you're at the MCG and you're sitting in the very middle with a computer and everyone's watching you in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, dude. So he's an Aussie. <laughs> Is he? Dude, dude. Oh, he's, he's definitely an Aussie. He's, he's got a boat called Moist. <laughs> that he's is an Australian if I've ever seen one. This is, this is me in a crowd of 60k people. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You guys want one? <laughs> Hello? Yo. Yo. Okay, so I wanted to explain this to you. Okay, so I had no idea what was going on. So I just thought like this was a random coincidence. So do you know the person who gave you my number at all? No. Well, no. That's the thing. Like it's it's supposed to be like a. So I was trying to tell you. It's like I I do like a stream. Like I'm streaming, and then it was just a random thing. Like I don't know who exactly sent me they, they have like some alias yeah. name you yeah, know that's, that's fine yeah no that's fine this guy this guy is some guy that i know who claims to be my ex when i dated him in seventh grade for like a week first of all and then he also claimed that you guys have been like close friends for years so <laughs> oh my kid is like obsessed with me and he's psychotic and I'm, i don't oh. care about like i don't care about
about any of the fucking comments or like any of that shit. Like this kid, whoever gave you my number, like he's just psychotic. So that was really weird. Like he just called. This time, you your mommy will be a lunatic, okay? I will be back in a minute, okay? You want Pokemon? Okay, I'll, I'll bring you back Pokemon then. Okay, okay, okay. I will bring you back Pokemon, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't cry, don't cry. I bring back Pokemon, dude. There is Pokemon. You don't cry with Pokemon, right? Oi. <laughs> Echo, who is Tyler One? Here's something I found on the web. According to iHeartDogs.com, Tyler Jertz is a 17-year-old boy with autism.